Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. And now on with the show. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And the intro for Netflix's live action Cowboy Bebop has dropped. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about reactions to it. And this is also going to be a cautionary tale. This is why studios need to keep their mouths shut until they show people something. Right. Because I think there was a lot of damage done by, is it uh, Daniela Panita? Yeah. Who plays uh, Faye Valentine or Faux Valentine or Fake Valentine, whatever you want to call her. Uh, most of the negative reactions have been about her shooting her mouth off before this dropped. Yes. Because it is very, very close to the anime. They, it, add, they add a lot of stuff. They add it's some not, stuff. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Now, this is no indication of whether or not the show is going to be any good. Yeah, I can't tell from this. Um, you know, but uh, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna steal, steal from the best, right? Mm -hmm. Well, people said that they feel like it's a fanfic. It's like a fan video. It's a fan video. Yeah, that comment came up a lot. They're like, we've seen fan videos like this done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over I have the seen years. them too. Yeah. yeah. So we'll we'll talk about the reactions for and against before we get into it any further. Please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, over 235,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we do talk about anime, talk about animation, talk about pop culture. Uh, we've been talking about Netflix's live action Cowboy Bebop because personally, I think it's a bad idea. I think they're all bad ideas. They just keep doing it anyway. Um, so, of course, if they're going to you know drop an intro, it's going to be the classic intro with Tank. It -ish. Similar to it, -ish. yeah. I, it, it, you can really tell if you look at the original compared to this how much older they made him, and I yeah. don't know how that's going to work out well either. Uh, again, this is no indication of whether or not the show is going to be any good, but you know, uh, the intro is not bad. Uh, but yeah, the comments that people had about it mostly were about Daniela Panita mm -hmm. and chewing her mouth off, you know, which is what we've seen before. We saw it with like the Shira debacle, Kevin Smith, take note. Um, we have it with you know, with the He Man, we had it with, with Lucasfilm. Um, a lot, you know, if they stop talking and just showed instead of told, you yeah. might have, you probably still gonna get some backlash, but you're, we're going to have a lot less because now people are just reacting to the way they feel like they've been disrespected. Mm -hmm. um, if you had just, you know, been respectful, people might have been more willing to give it a chance. Yeah, if they had said nothing and just dropped this, I think people mm -hmm. might have been like, oh, hey, interesting. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I agree. So anyway, the uh, live action intro was revealed during Netflix's fan event named Tadum. Is that what they call? Is that what that is? Tadum. Oh, Tadum. Yeah. So even Kotaku. <laughs> they called it. Even Kotaku oh. said they're not sure how they feel about it yet, but at least the intro is, uh, you know, acceptable. The adaptation stars John Cho as Spike Spiegel again, twice the age. Yeah, it just, of Spike. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know. Um, Daniela Panita as Faye or Foe, Mustafa Shakir as Jet Black, first announced in 2018. The Cowboy Bebop live action series is an adaptation. Well, they actually said it's gonna be a pretty loose adaptation. I, just stop with these live action anime things. They just, just. Just don't. No one wants this. Just stop. Anyway. Fans of the series have been skeptical. Yeah, skeptical is is putting it mildly. What was the good, even as good news was revealed, what was their good news? Uh, oh, because the, the composer. The and composer's the... involved, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's like everybody's like, oh, hey, no, One Piece is going to be great. Oda's involved. I'm like, well, just because Oda's involved doesn't mean... Larry Hama was given his his seal of approval to Snake Eyes, even though they completely changed the origin well, of Snake I'm Eyes. Well, I just laughing because the, because the composer. I'm like that's like saying, hey, Star Wars is going to be good because John Williams is still working on it. Uh, exactly. I'm like that's John Williams. Neither here nor there. John Williams is doing the music for the Last Jedi. It's going to be perfect. That's right. It's going to be absolutely perfect. Uh, the intro is another bit of good news for the series. Sure, the classic song is mostly carrying this intro, but I do appreciate how faithful it is to it the It is in some places. They it add is. a lot. It does teeter between cool and cheesy. Yeah. No, I, I'll give them that. They're right about that. Wow. They're being kind of like on the nose here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Netflix's track record with live action adaptations isn't great. And the overall history of American remakes of anime films uh, and shows is littered with bombs, failures, and completely yes. awful Yes. Are we sure this is projects. Kotaku? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, they said they were going to pivot, not pivot in the video, but I know they had a new editor. Pivot into honesty. 
Yeah, that maybe. Maybe they're going to pivot into honesty. Yeah, Ghost in the Shell and, and Dragon Ball was terrible. Now, the only two I could, well, there, um, there may be more than that, but in more recent memory, I, I would say Alita and Speed Racer were mm -hmm. both pretty good. I know you are like Speed Racer. I do. If Speed you haven't caught on to that yet because you mentioned it how many times. Because everybody hated on Speed Racer when it came out. And I, I watch, I'm like, no, this is actually, I think this is my favorite Wachowski movie. I think this is, I mean, not that there's a lot to choose from that are decent, but it really got a bad, bad rap, I think, undeservedly so. Because it, it does capture the feel of anime more so than any other it American does it's weird but that, speed that's, lines it, and the whole, it does capture the it. whole thing anyway that's just my go watch speed racer so okay that's all i said <laughs> that's all he said okay the intro is okay it might not suck so we're going to go out to the actual intro here on youtube and it's only got I, now i'm surprised oh it went up since you refreshed though it did it yeah. had nine thousand. it's it's uh, fifty six thousand upvotes to ten thousand downvotes mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's a mixed bag. Some people were like, hey, I'm glad they kept the theme song. Yeah, I, I think so, too. I think that they had not. That would have been, you know, that would have been a lot more problematic for people. Go ahead. Yeah, casting choice for Ayn is spot on. Uh, as a longtime Bebop fan, I'm extremely nervous after watching the trailer, fingers crossed. Yeah, just because they did a decent job with the intro does not mean. That's what I'm afraid of. It's going to be. And they had a blueprint to work from. Mm -hmm. Like, just basically take this, but make it live action and add some scenes from the show. And we'll go from there. Uh, never been so worried and excited at the same time for an adaptation. I like this one. I have no idea how to feel. I'm glad they're trying to base the show real close to the original, and the CG looks decent. On the other hand, one look at Spike, and I can say he looks like he's cosplaying, and Faye looks campy. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't even look looks campy. That's funny. Because uh, they were like, well, she was campy, so we had to change it. It's like, we had no, to change it. I think she looks campy in the new one. It does. She does kind of look lame, especially at the end. This feels like somebody's awkward fan film. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so that that is actually the uh, tone, you know. Uh, where's Faye? Certainly at Mall Queen isn't her. Otherwise, it looks good. Fix Faye. So, yeah, a lot of the comments, negative comments on Netflix. <laughs> Twitter adding this like. Um, <sighs> you know, that's just it. I think people would have been a little more, uh, you know, open to the idea or would have given it more of a chance. But when you have that Daniela Panita come right out and just basically shit on people, um, uh, you know, before it and act like, you know, that there's something wrong with them because they're asking about the costume. But she wore something, you know, every bit as revealing and other things. Her attitude was kind of weird. Um, maybe people would have given it more of a chance. Keep yeah. your damn mouth shut. I'm just like, you're you're doing yourself no favors here, Hollywood. Well, look at look at like the CGI He-Man. Like we had no expectation for the show, but mm -hmm. I can tell you that the people working on it, to the best of my knowledge, we're not out there prematurely shitting on He-Man fans. They're like, we'll wait and see and look and, you know. Watch and, it and, and judge for yourself. We watched it. We're like, well, shit. Mm -hmm. It's actually it's actually pretty good. Yeah. You know? I mean, for what it is, it's a complete reboot. Well, that's but just like, it. But it was upfront you know? about what it was. Yeah, and, and yeah. like, a lot of fans all have problems with changes. It's just that changes are done that make sense. Like, you had actually had a cast of characters, and you didn't, like, you know make the girls look like boys and you didn't make the men you know completely idiotically stupid and dumb asses and, and don't and thank god the women are there you know it, it was like a team and they worked as a team and no one was belittled because of their gender and it was great um i can't say the same thing about kevin smith's version yeah. and and this is it you gotta keep your mouth shut you got to stop, just, you know, do more of, like, that show and less of, like, what you've been doing with, like, She-Ra and the other He-Man and, and just in general. Yeah, and again, you know, nobody really wants the hot take of, you know, one of the script writers on a cartoon show to be out there constantly on Twitter. Just, and look, if people are attacking you or dogpiling or whatever, that's that's one thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in the case of Daniela Panita, I mean, she felt personally attacked, but... You can respond without throwing the character and the fandom under the bus because it's not everybody that was attacking you. And the character's fine. Faye's been fine for mm -hmm. 20, 30 years. Like, she's totally fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even if you changed the costume, I don't think people would have cared as much. I mean, they weren't yeah. happy about it, but they wouldn't have cared as much as she had just kept her mouth shut. And people were like, well, all these people on here complaining. It's like, yeah, because the actress caused a shitstorm for no damn good reason. That's what they're mad about. 
Yeah, see here, I mean, some of the top comments. I have no interest in anime, but this almost made me watch it, but then reading the comments and remembering anime fans seem even worse than wrestling. Yeah, because they're, they're talking about, yeah, but they're, the, yeah, they aren't a fan. They don't know the backstory about why people are pissed. Yeah. Uh, now the lead actress's attitude made me not want to watch it. Um, who is this for? You know, uh, yeah, where's Faye? Uh, and it's the same in the comments on the, you know, actually on Kotaku, if you go to Kotaku even. I don't know. It kind of looks like some fan-made adaptation of the original intro or hip-hop video from the 90s. Um, kind of yeah. looks cheesy. It looks like, well, to me, it was funny because they have, they, they started showing. Oh, there you go. You're happy. Oh, my nipples are hard. The only good Hollywood anime please, adaptation is Speed Racer. Please but, don't ever no. say that again. Also Alita. Also Alita. Wait, you just, this random person said my nipples are hard. So way to go, Pikachu Mariachi. You just made me have nipples hard. And Pikachu, I, how, I choose you. And now I don't know how to feel about that because it's like, wait, I don't want anybody else making my husband's nipples hard. It's just wrong. Um, okay, I had a thought, but I completely lost it because you you said that and it threw me the hell off. I don't even remember what I was going to say. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. Okay. <laughs> you don't, cannot say about Henry Cavill ever again. Um I was going to say something. I can't remember what it was now. I'm sorry. But because you completely threw me off with that and I wasn't expecting it. But I, yeah, I think a lot. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, in the in the trailer, it was weird. They did kind of add a lot to it of characters they have coming up in the show um, that they threw it in. Not the trailer, the, the intro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They threw into the intro. And um, which I don't hate. I thought that was kind of neat because we're going to get a look at what's going on. Um, but the one character it looks like Lucius Malfoy to me. It did, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, oh, look, Malfoy's here. Malfoy's here. Um, oh, my God, that's problematic. J.K. Rowling's going to get a nickel. Oh, yeah. Cause I said because I said Malfoy. Yeah. Um, having never seen the anime, it looks great. <laughs> Knowing the show doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell to be as great as the original it's, a lot, it's not probably going to be. Yeah, it's a lot easier to appreciate a project by a bunch of people who love Bebop. Uh, there's a fan film cheesiness. Well, I don't know if that was intentional, though. Yeah. I think they just were kind of like, you know. Um, yeah, lots of homages to this. One of the most famous anime intros of all time. It is. Yeah, so it's going to be... Mean, Pinky Boo doesn't even really watch it, but she heard, I heard me watching it. I heard the song. And she goes, is that Cowboy Bebop? I mean, she, she knows what it is, knows the music, even though she hasn't really watched the show. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, the real answer is no way to win. If you're too far off, people get mad. If it's too close, people get mad. The only winning move is never making that Yeah, adaptation. you know what? The <laughs> only agree. way to win is not to play. I agree with you. I think that the, that it would have been better to just go make new things instead of just live-actioning the hell out of everything. Um, I don't think Netflix should do what Disney does. I don't think that's a good business plan, but you know, at their point, they're just trying to shit out as much as they can. It's about quantity, not quality with these streamers. And that's yeah. not necessarily a good thing. Oh, James, come on. James, you just made his nipples go down. My nipples are deflating now. James said, I tried to watch Speed Racer and it made me physically ill. Oh, well, it is kind of all over the place. I mean, I think he means like the way the camera. Can you imagine works. Speed Racer in 3D? Oh, no, I, I would throw up. I can't watch 3D films because when I'm done, I get a really bad headache and then I can't walk right. Like I keep like wanting to lean one direction. Tasty bread. I'm up again. Speed Racer was magical. Please stop doing that. It really, really disturbs me. Okay. Okay. If I was on these videos and going, oh my God, you're caught me my nipples hard. You'd be like, what? And you get mad. I'm not talking about any cock. I'm talking about, did you say cock? No, I said nipples. You said something. But you else. stuck. Wait, whoa. So now you're like Freudianly slipping your dick in there. <laughs> so I'm just like. <laughs> Let's just stop talking about. I'm just. Anything being hard or anything involving cartoon characters because you're disturbing me greatly. I just. I like Speed Racer. It gets a bad rap. I, it makes me happy. I, I like Popeye too. Not like that. Some about those okay. forearms though. I don't know. It's, no, I I'm I it's a it was a good it was a good movie. Okay, can we please like just change Let's the move subject? On. Oh Let's god, a lot like, you know what? This is the this is the, the place for you. There is so much speed racer love in here that I might have to leave the room. Well, Jelter Skelter, Helter Skelter, Jelter Skelter says, I don't think the cheesiness works cow. Yeah, see, Speed Racer was intentionally cheesy. That was the point. They were trying to make it look 
like a live action cartoon. Yeah, I said you nailed it. I don't think the Speed Racer comparisons are super accurate. Speed Racer's over the top, but it never looked fan made. And they said this one kind of looks fan made. It, it's a Netflix show. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's, yeah. You're gonna need a warning on this video. Oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. R.I.P. Judy's outfit being yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's not that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyway, are we gonna wrap this up? Yeah, I'll go um, ask him where Ed is. Yeah, Ed's missing. They're hiding it. Well, this is probably well. One, they said it's not gonna be a faithful adaptation. Two, uh, Ed didn't show up until later in the series. Three. Netflix uh, probably doesn't know how to handle Ed, although they made a big deal about uh, hiring non-binary actors. So. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know. But Ed is not there, and now Ian. I will admit, when they had the intro and and they had the little clip for Ian, I was like, oh my god, is that Ian gets cute? his own little. Clip. He does. But it was really cute, and I was like, oh. It was sorry. Cute. Um, so we'll see. I mean, you know, mixed mixed bag. I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter if the show is good or not good, it's gonna have to do better than, there we go, there we go, there's Ayn. Yay! I just, I don't know, we'll have to see it. It might be good. I think the problem they're having is the fact that they threw so much shade up yeah. front and they're making a lot of changes, which like one person said, you're not gonna be able to win. People are gonna be mad no matter what you do, which is 100% accurate. Mm. So the better thing to do is just not do it at all. Even though I would watch a whole show with Ayn, just because I just watch a show about him. There you go. There you go. That there you Look go, Netflix. Spin off. Spin off show. Face. So cute. All right, we gotta wrap this one up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.